Can everyone hear me? Yeah. Great. So, um, I'm Ruby. I'm a supervising attorney with the Michigan Immigrant Rights Center, and we are a partnering organization with many nonprofits and private attorneys in Michigan who work with immigrants. We are a resource center providing access assistance, counsel advice, and referrals. Uh, we are currently, just so everyone knows what we're doing, we are partnering with the ACLU and other orgs to collect information, uh, what is happening at borders, because you know we don't know what's happening. As a U.S. citizen, as a, um, it's important to know what happens at a border checkpoint, what your rights are, um, because you pretty much have no rights at a border. As, as um, I was saying a moment ago, you know, you can be led into the country eventually, but um, if you are not a citizen, you don't have a right to an attorney to accompany you. You don't have a right to pretty much anything that you take for granted here you know, can happen at a border with impunity. As an attorney, it is very difficult for me to work with my clients at a border because Customs and Border Protection does not allow us to visit people who are actually currently being detained, or we might we don't even know if they're being detained because obviously they're being detained and you know they their phones have been taken away. So it is really important that if you know anybody who is traveling to the United States right now, you make sure that they contact family members who are either going to meet them at the airport, meet them at the port of entry, have an idea of when they are going to be entering the United States because if not, they could be turned away. They could potentially be coerced into having their green cards uh, rescinded or revoked, uh, which is a huge travesty. Uh, or they could, you know, be sent back, and the next thing you'll hear from them is being sent to a country that they may not have any connection to uh, for any foreseeable time period in the past. Uh, we are here today, many of us, to talk about. Uh, the executive order that is affecting nationals from those seven countries. But there are also a lot of other things that are happening. Uh, the executive order also touches on other areas um, in regard to, forgive me one sec, as I go through all my notes here, because there, uh, honestly there's been a flurry of activity in litigation. Uh, there are actually 13 pending cases. Uh, some of them are local. Some of them have national implications across the country right now. I imagine more are going to be filed any day soon. Um, and it, it not only affects nationals from these countries, it affects how visas are going to be issued moving forward. It affects uh, whether if somebody, there's a draft going out right now, if somebody has ever received public assistance in the past, or a family member has, that could potentially be a basis to deport you from the United States. Um, so these are very serious and concerning times uh, for many of us. Um, we want to be here to support you. Uh, we want to be a resource center for you. Uh, we can provide litigation support, assistance, guidance, um, or just general immigration questions for this and for other matters. And, and I know that the other panelists will go into maybe a little bit more detail about what some of these injunctions are talking about and the state of the um, kind of our um, our political system currently, uh, but if you do have questions later, I will be up here to answer them and, and afterward. Thank you, Thank you Ruby.